After you've downloaded the iBravery app from your app store, open it up and this will be the screen you're greeted with. Now, um, it should already come loaded with the day's readings here, um, but if not, we'll go up to this little screen here with uh, the day's management over here where it looks like an open book icon up in the upper right hand corner. Clicking on that, we'll see here the different days that have been downloaded. And if it's not downloaded here, we can select our days with these little arrows going back and forth to select our day and then to click on the language you want and download the day. We can also download the entire week and then we can delete different days prayers after we finish with them. Going to this upper arrow in the upper left hand corner, we'll go back to this menu, making sure that we have our day loaded here. Uh, we could also click on today and that will load up this day. Going to those three little lines here, we open up the side menu and from there we click on Bravery. And here we see which ones we want to select. And here we'll go to morning prayer since that will be in English. We won't do the invitatory. So we're just going to skip down up here in the red bold letters. It says invitatory. We'll just roll, scroll down here until we see past the invitatory. Long invitatory. It says down here right before the hymn. If the invitatory is not said, then the following is used. We'll go ahead and do this. The leader, the priest will say, God, come to my assistance, making the sign of the cross. You all should make the sign of the cross as well and respond after him, Lord, make haste to help us or help me. Um, then the priest will say, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. And then everyone else should respond as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. We're going to skip the hymn and there's this nice little link here that we can go to the psalmody. So click on the psalmody. And from here, then we'll have the practice of the liturgy of the hours. Now, the priest, the leader, will first say the antiphon all by himself, and then he will start off the psalmody. Now, there's two sides that respond back to each other. It's a call and response. So side one will always be the side with the leader, in this case, the priest. And he will say the first line, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. And then his side will say, for will continue uh, for the end of the stanza, for his love endures forever. Then side two, the side that doesn't have the priest or the leader, will respond and say, let the sons of Israel say, all the way down to his love endures forever. And then side one will pick back up, I called to the Lord in my distress. You'll go back and forth alternating side to side until you get down to the bottom and then there'll be the glory be alternate the glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. And then the other side will say, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Psalm prayer is not said in, in communion like this. And so we go on and then everyone says the antiphon together. The right hand of the Lord has shown its power. The right hand of the Lord has raised me up. Then we go on to the second antiphon in the second psalm. And as such, we'll have the um, the priest will go ahead and lead that just as before, and then we'll start the line and then his side will complete it alternating back and forth. After we've completed the last one and we've all said, praise the Lord and his high, heavenly power, we'll come down to the reading. Now the priest will normally say the reading unless there's a volunteer who would like to read and they need to arrange that beforehand with the priest. Then the responsory, uh, normally the priest will say, start off the responsory and the people will, will respond everyone together and then back and forth until the end of that when we come to the gospel canticle everyone will stand up and standing up uh, the priest will introduce the antiphon to us but then a little bit different here all together everyone in the community will say together the magnificat uh, blessed be the lord the god of israel i'm sorry the canticle of zechariah blessed be the lord the god of israel he's come to his people and set them free all the way down to and will be forever. Amen. Then everyone together will say the antiphon uh, at the end. Now, when we get to the intercessions, the priest will introduce this part, and we will not say the italicized part. Uh, that's for a different application. Instead, we will have the leader, or if there's a reader of the day, we'll say, God of mercy, let it let today be a day rich in good works. And then everyone together will respond, a day of generosity to all we meet. Skipping that italicized part, we go back and forth that way till the end of the intercessions. The priest will introduce the Lord's Prayer to us. We'll pray it all together. And then there's the concluding prayer by the priest. 
and then the dismissal. Now, touching on this little arrow to go back for morning prayer, uh, if we wanted to, we can go and also do Spanish. We'll go back to our little book here icon up in the upper right hand, and then we just want to select out if we're going to join for Spanish prayer as well, the uh, Visperas, the uh, evening prayer. We will go ahead and download that day, and then we be sure and click on it. Opening that up, we'll go back to our menu here, go to Breviary again, and now we see that it's changed into Spanish. We just go down and click on Visperas, and then we can join along in Spanish in the same manner. Now, just to go back for that, all we have to do to click it back to English is go back and select the English ones, and then everything is back to English. Now, um, once we click on those three little lines as well, we can see that there's other options here. Uh, there's the Missal, um, the Order of the Mass, the Initial Rites, so that we can actually follow along with the Mass right from here. Uh, we can also go to the readings of the day uh, and follow along with the readings. And there's also a wonderful little treasury of some prayers here uh, to benefit our soul. So, um, and then there's rites, which normally are for the priest, um, and things that he needs to have in his, on his phone. So, uh, I hope that this has been helpful to you, and I look forward to praying the Liturgy of the Hours with you.